God, that is a health hazard. Check this out, found a couple of cats. <laughs> Hi kitty. How are you? How's your buddy back there sunbathing? <laughs>
crash. It got so much worse. That it did. This mall got significantly worse since my original visit in March of 2021. Hello everyone and welcome back to Statesville, North Carolina and welcome back to the Signal Hill Mall. This is probably my favorite dead mall of them all. I know Chambersburg is a pretty darn close second favorite of mine which sadly just closed for good. And as for this one, I'm amazed that this hasn't either. Wow, 99% of these stores are gone. You gotta love the generic images of food, especially at a mall that no longer has any place to eat. The IHOP has closed. Several of the stores that were open in my last video have closed, not that there were many. Inside of the mall, there are probably two stores left. There's a shop with pianos in it. I don't know if they're only open by appointment or if that's just used for storage. You'll see that later on in the video. The sad planter here is just one wing in this mall. The roof that's missing pieces and is just covered in water stains is throughout, but the wing ahead, the JC Penny wing, is by far the worst, and you'll see that later in the video as well. Getting into the two tenants that still remain, Wooten Jewelry and a cell phone store are all that remain inside. Like I said, the piano shop, not sure if that's open by appointment only, or if it's just open on certain days. But those are the two tenants, possibly three. Belk has since sealed up their entrance from inside of the mall, so you can only get to it from the outside. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, in my 2021 visit, you could only get to the store from the outside. But you could at least see inside of the store through the mall. That's since been drywalled completely up. What surprised me was that, given the effort to board up the interior entrance to Belk, was that the sign wasn't taken down, and even still lit up. Straight ahead here is a tiny little hallway with an exit door that was, shocker, locked. Not really sure if that's legal, don't know if that's supposed to be open as a fire exit, but if you wanted to get out of the mall through this doorway, you couldn't. Anyway, I thought this was a neat little hallway, and it was definitely dated given the uh, wood grain panels on the wall. This is supposed to be an exit, and they don't even have it unlocked. I can see it's dead bolted shut. Yeah. So much for that. Guess we have to go back into the mall. The last time I was here, this Bath and Body Works was open. They did say they were closing in just a few months after my initial visit. Fortunately, they just moved to a new location right up the street.
as dead as this mall is and the terrible condition the roof is in, you have to appreciate those who work here to care enough about the plants to water them, the ones that are still alive, that is, and to continuously pump water into the fountain, even if they do it through a garden hose. You know, the mall might be dead, might be water stains on the ceiling and on the rug here, but the love for this fountain and the plants to keep it alive like that gets my attention, and I could just sit here for hours just taking it in. I mentioned those who work here. I can honestly say, throughout all of the visits that I've made to this mall, and yes, there's been several, between the original video and this one, and even since then I've made a few visits, I can say I have never once seen any maintenance workers, mall management, nothing. I feel almost as if the tenants have their own keys to get to their stores, or mall management or maintenance comes here in the morning, unlocks the doors, and then they leave. I mean, yes, there's a cleanup cart near the fountain, but I've seen that on the floor in the mall several times. Now, the mall is in relatively clean shape. I mean, there's not really much foot traffic in here anymore, except for people like us that want to sightsee and just take it in. As we all know, this mall was on borrowed time, and as a matter of fact, in my original video, the store manager for Bath & Body Works had said that there were rumors of the mall being demolished. Now, since then, the mall has had interest in another developer, but that was around this time, one year ago, July 8th, 2022. And that was shortly after the mall went on the market. Now, I would imagine anybody that does invest in this property will do the inevitable. They'll demolish it. And given the age of the mall and the two tenants that remained, excluding the Belk, I can't see the mall being repurposed. A lot of places have been turned into mixed-use properties, and that's what I could see happening here. Don't know what would happen to Belk. I guess it's just a wait-and-see kind of deal. Now, there was something fun that happened here in 2023, and that was the fact that the parking lot was a fantastic spot to watch the fireworks for the 4th of July. Other than that, nothing. I can't believe they would trust all these pianos being in here with the condition of that roof. I mean, there's a tile falling down all the way in the back there. Perhaps that's why the one piano right in the middle is covered in plastic. I don't know. We've now come to the part of the video where I get to take you down the JCPenney wing, the terrible condition that it's in, and, well, all I can say is enjoy it. I haven't mentioned any history of the mall in this video. I thought it would be a little silly to do so, given the fact that I'd mentioned the history of the mall in the original video. I just wanted to do this as an update. If you would like to learn about the history of the mall, the link to the original video will be in the description of this one. Anyway, as we make our way down towards the JCPenney, you can see how dimly lit it is during the day, the buckets catching rainwater, and you'll see the mold on the windows of the JCPenney and the Peebles right next to it. Anyway, take it in guys and enjoy.
Now here we are in another narrow hallway right near the J.C. Penney, and I'm going to walk in front of J.C. Penney and take you through the other one, both which have exits to go outside. Now in these hallways, they had rooms for security, mall management, maintenance, all of which seemed locked up and that nobody was home. Anyway, I think I'll wrap up talking here. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this one a lot. And I want to thank our Patreon supporters for making videos possible, especially these ones. I, I put a lot of work into it. I know I'm not as good as the bigger guys are that do mall videos, but I do them this way. I thoroughly enjoy it, and I love presenting these videos to you guys the way I do it, and... I don't plan on stopping at all. There's a shot inside of the old Peebles. I don't want to get too close to the glass. Because I'm pretty sure that's mold. That's all over it. Yeah, it might be hard to see with a camera this far away. But it's mold, I'm pretty certain. And the sad thing is, it's on the glass on the left and straight ahead over at the J.C. Penney, as well as on the gates. If that is mold, and I think it is, that is pretty gross. And people were wiping their fingers through it. This is what the old learners looks like inside. Again, thank you to our Patreon supporters. If you'd like to see exclusive content and see this video in the future without me blabbering, consider going over there. You can do so for as little as a dollar a month. Cancel any time, no obligation. This is unbelievable. I can't even believe this is allowed to be open. If Patreon isn't your thing, you can do a one-time contribution right below by clicking the thanks button. Um, but anyway, if you want to, feel free to. If you don't, no hard feelings. It's tough out there. And, you know, honestly, just you watching this video means the world to me. I'm very grateful to have you guys here and you guys giving me the passion to continue doing this, so... With that said, enjoy the rest of the video, take care, and stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye Thank you.